Things you missed in Saturn devouring his son. Is Saturn devouring his son by Francisco Goya considered the scariest painting ever? Did Goya really paint the black paintings? Why did Saturn eat his own son? Welcome back to Art and Beyond, and today we will solve the questions about one of the famous paintings, Saturn Devouring His Son by Francisco Goya. There are some really strong contenders like Hieronymus Bosch's Rendering of Hell, Henry Fuseli's Nightmare, and Edvard Munch's The Scream, but the one painting that has made me vigorously disturbed is Francisco Goya's Saturn Devouring His Son. Saturn Devouring His Son is a historical painting that illustrates the myth of the Roman god Saturn who was haunted by a prophecy that he would be overthrown by one of his sons. As a solution, Saturn ate each of them moments after they were born. The story is a well-known Greek myth, but the way Goya handles the myth is absolutely terrifying. The gruesome painting shows the imposing figure of Saturn emerging from the darkness. His mad-like eyes are bulging from his face as he prepares to take a bite as his fingers dig into his child. The corpse is motionless and lifeless. Only the flesh and blood of the mutilated corpse have colour in this darkened scene, representing Saturn's fear of being usurped by one of his own children. The disturbing portrait was likely influenced by Peter Paul Rubens' Saturn Devouring His Son, a Baroque-style painting created in 1636. Rubens' depiction of Saturn appears to have more consciousness and awareness of his decision to eat his son. Goya, on the other hand, depicts Saturn as a wholly lost in chaos and fear, consuming his child as if it were necessary for his survival. In 1819, Goya purchased a house on the banks of Mazanares near Madrid called Quinta del Sordo, or Villa of the Deaf Man. Between 1819 and 1823, when he left the house to move to Bordeaux, Goya produced a series of 14 paintings using mixed techniques on the house's walls. Saturn Devouring His Son was one of six works that Goya painted in the dining room. It's important to note that Goya never named the works that he produced at the Quinta del Sordo, others assigned the names after his death. This interpretation of the painting sees it as a reference to the Roman myth inspired by the original Greek myth in which Terra, or Gaia, foretold the one of the sons of Saturn would overthrow him, just as he had overthrown his father Callus or Uranus. To prevent this, Saturn ate his children moments after each were born, eating the gods Vesta or Hestia, Ceres or Demeter, Juno or Hera, Pluto or Hades, and Neptune or Poseidon. His wife, Ops or Rhea, eventually hid his sixth child and third son, Jupiter or Zeus, on the island of Crete, deceiving Saturn by offering a stone wrapped in swaddling in his place. Unlike the painting, the myths usually portray Saturn slash Kronos swallowing his children and later vomiting them up alive after swallowing the stone, rather than chewing them up in this painting. Jupiter eventually supplanted his father just as the prophecy had predicted. One must note that Saturn devouring his son by Goya is not the first painting he did on this subject. In fact, he made sketches during 1796 and 1797 of the subject many years before he painted this one on the wall. The former was much more subtle, with Saturn holding a child in his left hand and eating a child captured in his right hand. But still, the level of ferociousness found in the mural is absent in this sketch. Goya, who is said to be suffering from bouts of depression since the age of 46, created these murals and painted them directly on walls of his home. This set of 14 paintings were not supposed to be for public consumption, as they seemed to be reflecting his struggles with depression and the troubled times in Spain. He did not name any of these 14 paintings, and they were later transferred to the canvas from walls almost 50 years after they were first painted. The depiction of Saturn in the painting creeps out the viewer as the central figure approaches psychotic and has a pure cannibalistic instinct whilst eating his own son. There is no remorse, there is no regret, there's no emotional variance except for a demonic demeanour of a person lost in the blindness of power. 
The mythological description shows that Saturn ate his children when they were very young, but Goya presents a grown individual in the hands of the devourer. Goya has witnessed war and strife in Spain during his lifetime, and some interpretations note that the central figure is death or war, and Spain is being devoured because of the Dark Presence. So this use of grown individuals adds historical depth to this painting. Are you a true fan of Saturn devouring his son? Then send a letter to Museo Nacional del Prado to find more hideous secrets about that painting. Don't wait, just write a letter and subscribe to the channel for more information. But perhaps the most disturbing part of this painting is not the victim's pain, but the perpetrator's pain. The sheer panic in Saturn's eyes. He's disgusted by what he's doing, he is in pain, and he doesn't want to eat his own son, but he has to do it for his own survival. As usual, some issues remain unclear to begin with. The rounded buttocks and thighs of a half-eaten victim in Saturn's hands are not those of a boy or a man. It's clear, therefore, that he is eating one of his daughters, and she is no child but a well-developed young woman. So what does this all mean? Is it really a symbolic picture, and if so, who does Saturn represent? Some art experts believe that he may symbolize the autocratic Spanish state devouring its own citizens. Others interpret Saturn as a French Revolution or even Napoleon. Goya himself left no clue as to the answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was a video that many of you had requested, and I thought, it's Halloween next week, so why not make this video? I hope you enjoyed, and if you do enjoy watching videos like this one, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to get more updates on upcoming videos. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and we'll see you in the next video.